While this South Texas heat has been out of this world, you can feast your eyes upon some space science right here in your own backyard. In order to understand what a blue supermoon is, we must first break down what a supermoon is to begin with. The moon has a almost elliptical orbit. There's actually a lot of little perturbations to that that are very interesting. But the upshot is this is just simply when the moon is closest in its elliptical orbit called the perigee. According to NASA, the perigee has an average distance of about 226,000 miles from Earth. And while that's still an out of this world destination, the visuals are actually slightly enhanced during this celestial event. It'll look about 7% larger than average. And it'll be about 15% brighter than average. Roughly 25% of all full moons are supermoons, but only 3% are blue moons. And what actually makes it a blue moon has nothing to do with its color. It's unusual to see the full moon more than once a month because it's 27 days. Every now and then you'll actually have two full moons. Which is one way a blue moon can happen. However, tonight's blue moon is because it is the third full moon out of four within one season's time. The fourth full moon of summer will come on September 17th, and it's the harvest moon. The stars have aligned, I guess, pardon the pun. <laughs> the stars have aligned, and we're going to be able to see those two combined um, events tonight, which is really exciting. And if you're not able to catch the out-of-this-world spectacle, your next chance won't be until quite some time. The next time that we're going to have something like this happen again is not until 2037. So it makes this kind of special. And while cooler temperatures only come around once in a blue moon this time of year, we definitely have quite some time before we see any relief in South Texas.